So today we're speed riding through Jetpack Joyride and you might be asking, well, how's that possible? Well, through spending lots of money. Before we even start the speed run, first of all, I had to get some power-ups, like I had to get boost to level five so we go more distance. I had to get shield to level up as well. And I could have went two levels even more, but I wasn't spending another $100. And I had to get three different gadgets that will help me throughout the game. I got the D-Zappinator, which makes some of the zappers pop randomly. I got the Turbo Boost, which makes boost rings spawn in front of you. And finally, I got the Air Berries, which let you jump higher. Thankfully for this speed run, we didn't have to buy characters or anything like that, but it still cost me a pretty penny. Let's just do the speed run. The speed run I will be doing is getting to 10,000 meters. So we can start the speed run as soon as we touch right here. We're gonna bust out of here, steal their jetpack, and use the Mega Boost right at the beginning. This is gonna allow us to go 1,500 meters as soon as we spawn, which of course is nice for a speed run where you're trying to get to 10,000 meters. And yeah, at this point, it's just kind of a surviving game. You'll see we get a couple of things. Unluckily, I couldn't get that boost right there, which would have allowed us to go a little bit faster. But hopefully as we go on throughout, we will find more stuff like the little stomper. Even though there is the animation, which makes you go a little slower, getting these power-ups is usually worth it. And that's because as you can see, you keep going faster. And at the end, it is going to save you a little bit of time just by getting it. So we're going to want to survive as much as possible while we're using this trying to dodge all this stuff but that doesn't really work out that was sad but we still did get a good amount of distance we are almost at 2500 which is going to be pretty good for us so far and here are two things we definitely want to get first of all the shield that will allow us to get hit three times and then also these boost rings which just does that for us so now we're farther ahead and it got rid of all the obstacles for us for a while and yeah we can get these spin tokens but for us they don't really matter okay how did that just hit me oh gosh okay we're just gonna keep going i'm not gonna worry about it and there is also this coin thing which does help because it does get rid of the obstacles but it isn't the most important thing we're just trying to get the things that help us go faster more so and i keep getting hit but there we can get one of these as well that's gonna allow us to go faster get rid of the obstacles that's always nice it's way more fun to just win without having to try oh and there is going to be mr cuddles mr cuddles is one of my favorite ones to get i mean first of all it's a gigantic dragon that spits out fire you can kill all these scientists of course i'm gonna like it and you can get up to some pretty good speeds it's gonna allow us to get hit one extra time so i'm gonna try to keep mr cuddles for as long as possible oh but of course right after i say that i get hit but we're not gonna worry about that one time to dodge some missiles they're just gonna keep coming through okay please stop game there goes my last hit of the shield that's very fun but i'm allowed to get another one of these please let me get these boosts i'm gonna use a revive there because we have a really good run so far even if that just decided to happen oh i did not want to see that revive already i don't love using the revives but we do have 10 of them i do want to save them till later it's so hard in this game to get far without the revives though honestly the speed run is about me just getting carried by the mechanics of the game and spending a lot of money and also having to use these revives again can i stop Stop using these so early the good thing about it is at least it's a really quick animation please let me get the shield please i could use that shield i'm going for the shield and they're missing it's right behind me uh this has been a painful start but there we go now we can get the crazy freaking teleporter this is gonna help a lot because you know we can teleport go faster all that kind of stuff this one has always been one of the weirdest ones to use for me when i'm playing jetpack joyride because it just feels kind of awkward i mean it is really helpful if you can use it right and you don't just die we're gonna just try to keep it please okay i'm just gonna keep going there are missiles coming i'm just gonna start spamming and hope it works out for me <laughs> we'll try to stay alive for as long as possible well, okay, now we are at 8,000 meters. Here comes another one of our boost rings. Come on, dude. There we go. That is going to be so helpful because now we get no obstacles for a while and we can be a little bit more safe. We should probably be able to get this run done. Okay, so then there was no way I could get past that, but I am going to use another one of my quick revives and it looks like there is a shield. If we get the shield, we are definitely winning and we get it just in time. And then I get hit by two things, but we're not going to talk about that. Please let me get this boost. There we go. We got the boost. Oh, uh, the speed run is so... Oh, uh, there's so much going on right now. <laughs> I do appreciate how you can literally just cheat to go far. I just keep using my revives. The unfortunate thing is you can't actually buy these revives. You do have to get them naturally. But we do have enough to complete this speed run. We are almost to the end right now. I just have to get a little bit farther and we should make it. And I will be very happy with the speed run. I'm going to use a bomb here and maybe that will get me to 10,000 please and that is going to be time wow that 
was a time. I guess I might as well do this just for fun, just to go through old time. Oh yay, a jackpot of 1,000. That's definitely gonna help me after I spent way too much money on this game. And another jackpot. I don't need this money, I promise you, Gabe. Give it to someone else. And there we go. We finished out with that. 10,274 meters. And honestly, a pretty good speed run. Obviously, not everything can go perfectly with this game. There is a lot of luck, and I mean, the speed run as a whole is kind of just luck. But hey, that's the fun of Jetpack Joyride. And if we look on speedrun.com, we will see that there is no leaderboard for Jetpack Joyride. So hey, free world record for me. But I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on it. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm, and I'd really appreciate it. Also, subscribe to the channel. We are slowly but surely making our way up to a million subscribers. So if you enjoy this type of speedrunning content, I do plenty of it on this channel. So check out my other videos and subscribe if you're interested. But enough shilling. Thank you all for watching. I'll catch you next time.